Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another Guitars Ready Hero song tutorial. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play How You Remind Me by Nickelback, which is their breakout hit. For the basics of this song, you'll just need a guitar and drop D tuning. Now if you want to master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to improve in your guitar in general, then sign up to Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. Alright, let's jump into the lesson. To get into drop D tuning, we just need to take our low E string down to a D. So that's down two semitones. So E down to E flat, down to D, which should sound like that. Okay, so let's start with the verse, which is also used for the post-chorus and the pre-chorus and quite a lot of this song actually. So it's a really simple four chord chord progression. We're gonna start with a C5 power chord here. So index finger on the third fret of the fifth string and ring and pinky finger on the fifth frets of the fourth and third string. Now with your index finger, you also want to lightly rest it across all the other strings, except for the one you're fretting. So you're not fretting down, you're not pushing down that index finger, you're just lightly touching those other strings. So that way when you strum that power chord, only the strings that you want to ring out will ring out. And in order to mute the sixth string, you can lightly touch it with the tip of your index finger. So that's C5, and then we're gonna to go to an F5. So keep your pinky finger where it is, lift your ring finger, and just shift your index finger up one fret. So that's barring across the sixth, fifth, and fourth strings on that third fret. So you're hitting four strings there. So that's our F5 chord. And then we go to a B flat five, which is the same as our C5, just down two frets. And then we're gonna play an E flat 5 which again is just the same as our F5 but just down two frets. So four chords there, like that. Now we're going to be strumming each chord with a really simple strumming pattern that goes down, 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 up, or one E and a two E and a. So each chord is strummed with that strumming pattern and the verse will just sound like this. So that's just played through twice for the first verse and then we have a break. Now this break here, I'm basing this off the acoustic version that I found on YouTube. Now for this break here, you can strum these chords or you can pick them, it's kind of up to you. So we start with our C5 and now I'm gonna show you how you can pick this and then I'll show you how you can strum it. So with the C5, you can pluck the fifth string, fourth string and then the third string and then back to the fifth string. So four plucks there, one and and, and then we're going to go to an A flat sus2 chord shape. So from the C5, just slide your ring finger up to the 8th fret, and then your index finger will bar across the 6th frets of the 6th and 5th string. So this is an A flat sus2, and you're just going to pluck the 6th string, 5th, 4th, and then back to 6th. So 3 and 4 and and then for the final chord, it's a B flat sus2, so it's the same shape, just up two frets. And we're just gonna pluck the top three strings. So one and two and three and four. And... So that's it for the break riff, which sounds like this, plucked. Now, if you wanted to strum those chords, you can as well. Now we're just gonna do that same down, 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 for the first two chords, but then for this final chord, the B flat sus2, we're just gonna strum it three times. So. So that's how you can strum the break if you don't like flat picking. Then we get to the pre-chorus, which is just the same as the verse. The only thing we're gonna change here is the last two chords. The strumming pattern, we're gonna build it up a little bit more. So instead of the down, 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 we're gonna play a down, 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 down for the B flat five and the E flat five power chord. And that's on the last cycle in the pre-chorus. So, so it will sound like this. Next, we get to the chorus. Now we have similar chords to the verse, just the order in which they're played is different. So we're gonna start with our C five and then we're gonna to go to our E flat five. Then we'll go to our B flat five and then finally to our F5. Now Chad Kroger just plays that F5 like this with his ring finger 
and covering the sixth, fifth, and fourth strings. But I'm gonna use my index finger here, and you can even use that F5 that we had in the verse as well. But I'm just gonna focus on the top three strings here. So those are the chords. Now for the strumming pattern, the first two times we play this progression, for the first three chords, I'm gonna just use that strumming pattern that we had in the verse, so down, 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 up. And for the F5, I'm gonna play a down, 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 down. So the first two times we play this progression, it would sound like this. Now the third time we play this, the first two chords, the strumming pattern is gonna alter a little bit. It's gonna be a down, down, mute, 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 or a down, 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 up, but the last three strums are muted. So what we're gonna do there is just have our power chord held down for the first two down strums, and then lift our fingers for the next down, down, up. So you get that muted sound. So we're making contact with our strings with our fretting hand, but so that way when we strum, we get that muted sound. So we do that for the first two chords this third time we play this progression. And then when we get to the B flat five, we return back to the regular strumming patterns. So the third time around we play this progression. And then the fourth time we play the progression is the same as the first two. After that is the post-chorus and it's just the same chords as the verse. After that there's the verse, another pre-chorus, another chorus, and then another post-chorus. But in this post-chorus we're playing that progression through four times. And then there's a third verse and then another break. But this time this break is played through twice and not just once like at the start of the song. Then we have the final chorus. Now the final chorus is pretty simple. It's similar to the other choruses, except the second time around we play this progression. When we get to the B flat five, we're gonna strum that and just hold it out. So the second line of chords here. And then we come back into the third line of chords here and everything else is the same as the other choruses. So if you want more clarification, just go to the playthrough at the end of this lesson. And then for the final post-chorus is different to the other post-chorus because it's not the same as the verse chords. We're basically continuing on with the chorus chord progression. So the C5, E flat 5, B flat 5, and the F. That's played through three times. And then for the second line of chords, when we get to that B flat 5, we're gonna actually play a B flat sus 2, like that. So bar your index finger across the whole first fret and then hold that out. And what you can do is actually flat pick as the song sort of fades out. So, so just play around with that. But that's all for this song, a whole lot of power chords, some simple strumming. To summarize the song structure, we have the verse progression played through twice, then we have the break, then we have the pre-chorus progression played through twice, then the first chorus, then the post-chorus progression played through twice, a second verse, a second pre-chorus, a second chorus, and then another post-chorus, which is the progression played through four times. Then we have the third verse, then another break, which is played through twice instead of once, another pre-chorus, the final chorus, and the final post-chorus. So now I'm gonna be doing a full playthrough of the song and of a vocal track on top for some context. Big thanks to my friend Eric for lending his awesome vocals to this playthrough. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to to practice, play along to, and see how you go. Never made it as a wise man
cut it as a poor man stealing And this is how you remind me This is how you remind me This is how you remind me Of what I really am This is how you remind me Of what I really am It's not like you say sorry Wars waiting on a different story This time I'm mistaken For handing you a heart worth breaking Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this lesson, then I know you'll absolutely love these other lessons too. So hit the link here, or if you wanna grab a copy of my free guitar ebook, then head over to guitarzeritohero.com or click the link here. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.